What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Sergey Kovalev. He says that he took the Canelo Alvarez fight for money, and it was impossible to win. Sergey reveals that what fight fans suspected about his recent loss to Saul Canelo Alvarez by saying that he had no chance of winning because he had little chance to recover from his previous title defense against Anthony Yard. And Canelo stopped Kovalev in the 11th round to take his WBO 175-pound title from him on the 2nd of November in Las Vegas. And a lot of boxing fans opened, openly wondered after the fight why Kovalev looked so weak. And his punches with almost nothing on them. Some people had even said Canelo versus Kovalev fight looked like it was staged. They noticed how. Kovalev wasn't throwing his punches with power. And they thought it was odd that he would do that. Even Kovalev's normal powerful jab looked weak. And the strangest part, Kovalev arguably possesses the best jab in the light heavyweight division. Mm. Kovalev says that he took the fight with Canelo due to financial reasons, but, it would, but he had no chance of winning. Started the training camp for his November 3rd, just three weeks after his grueling 11th round knockout over Yard on August 31st, okay? That's a fight in which Kovalev was close to being knocked out in the eighth round. He says, given the circumstances, it was, it was impossible to win. You are ignoramuses since you thought I could win. I climbed into this weight with torment and sleepless nights because it was a financial interesting offer, said Kovalev. Mm. Wow, I'll tell you. This doesn't look like it doesn't look good for Canelo because we're having so many fights, you know, for, for one, I do agree. Kovalev didn't have enough time to prepare. But two, they slapped his ass with a rehydration clause. He said he had sleepless nights. He didn't have the proper training. He did look weak. He looked starched. So I guess what they wanted and what they intended on the, re the rehydration clause, it worked because that's the objective that they wanted. But my thing is, why would you put, go, up, go up a weight class, you know, throw your power around, go up to a person's weight limit, tell a person you can't weigh in a certain weight after you've already made weight, Right. Force a fighter into a fight and don't give him enough fucking time to train. When he gets into the ring, he looks weak as shit. And all he gets is he loses his belt, but he gets $12 million in return. Okay, yes, I can see now how this could be a stage fight. And even if it wasn't a stage fight, it's too many minuses against Canelo and what Canelo expected of Kovalev that he didn't give Kovalev a fair shake to even become prepared to even be a challenge for Canelo. Why the fuck would you want someone to be starched, weak, overtrained, right? Not having enough rest and not ready to really fight you to your 100% ability and go in there and do what you did to him and, and expect credit for that. That's my problem with Canelo Alvarez. All the shit that he does all the catch weights, the shit he did with Chavez Jr. He might have beat Chavez Jr. anyway. Why did he fucking fight Chavez Jr. at 168 or 175? You see what I'm saying? Now, mind you, he wanted to do that shit to Golovkin. Remember that? Oh, I'm not a real middleweight. You got to come to 157. You're going to make the middleweight champion come to fucking 157? Diva. Fucking diva. That's what I'm talking about, people. This type of shit here. And Canelo, oh, he's the best in the world. Can you agree? Yes, he's a good fighter, but the shit that he does, you're weight draining people, you're fucking over people, and all you're doing is throwing your money around to tempt people into taking a fight that they can't really physically prepare for. Like your politics don't, your politics don't equal your talent skill. It cheapens it. It makes you look like, oh, I'm the A side, so I'm going to intentionally make people weak so they won't fight me the best that they possibly can. What fucking reverence is that? What reverence is that for Canelo Alvarez, for Team Canelo, for Golden Boy overall? Yes, I know the motherfucker needs to win, but 
Don't even go there. He should have stayed at 168 and fought Callum Smith. And that's another thing. You fought Rocky Fielding. Why don't you fight the fucking guy that knocked out Rocky Fielding? He's he's with Hearn. Yeah, you fought fucking Danny Jacobs. That's Hearn's for that. That's Hearn's fighter. That wouldn't have been a problem to make. You both motherfuckers fight on the zone, don't you? Yes. See, that's why I don't give Canelo credit like a lot of people do. They kiss his ass and oh, he knocked out Kovalev. Either if I, I'm, I'm and I'm not convinced that the shit's not staged. And if it wasn't staged, who gives a fuck? Because it was so many motherfucking uh, de de deterrents in this fight for Kovalev, he didn't even have a chance. I seen that fucking fight, and I wondered to myself, that shit looked like it ain't even affecting Canelo. Because they want Canelo to be perceived as this tough-ass, uh, red-headed, authentic-looking fucking uh, uh, special Mexican, right? With all these great gifts and skills. But at the end of the fucking day, when he had the strikes against him, he lost. When he had to come to 152 that he claimed uh, Mayweather wanted him to do, he lost. He was outschooled. He was outboxed. He was outworked. He was out hustled. He could not fuck with Floyd. And I guess why a Floyd loss makes you bitter ever since. Oh, I know I'm going to be like Floyd and I'm going to make everybody and weight drain everybody so they can't come in 100 percent. Why would you want that? I mean, don't does boxers have fucking integrity anymore? I don't I don't get it. It's like Canelo should have enough integrity. I want a real challenge. I want Kovalev to come in at his regular weight. I don't need a hydration rehydration clause because he's taking the fight short notice. I won't do little shitty things like, oh, we need a rehydration clause. But he did it anyway. So the guy couldn't even train for your ass appropriately. Now you hit his ass with a rehydration clause oh, at 36 years of age. Oh, here's $12 million. Here you go. I know you're going to take it. Right? He shouldn't have took it. And I congratulate, because I congratulate Andre Ward for not fuck falling for that bullshit, because they would have done the same thing to him, right? They would have just want him to come off the couch fighting that motherfucker. That's what they would have wanted. And I see that. I see that with my eyes closed, people. That's why Kovalev, he was explaining, I didn't have no fucking chance of winning this fight anyway. At least he, he, he spoke up. Because a lot of fighters wouldn't. They'd just be some suckers for some money, that you know what I mean, and, and for the money grab, and they won't even be ready. I never like anybody that's trying to get aid and trying to starch and drain a fighter. That's not true fighting. That's not a true champion. True champions don't need to do that type of shit. And Canelo ain't one of them. Okay, as long as he has to do things like that, that does not reverence him a true champion in any fucking weight class. If he if he has to do that at 175, he's not a champion at 175. Now, you might exclude 168. Well, fuck, fucking fight someone worth a shit at 168, not Rocky Fielding, okay? Fight fucking, fight someone at 160 worth a damn. Fight Andre. Oh, he's boring. Okay. Now he fights too much like Lara, so you don't want to fuck with him. You know, you can't look good against him. In fact, the, guy, the dude might outbox you. That's pretty much what that is. I get it now. So I'm going to take these easy ass fights. I know Kovalev's on his last leg. Let me go up there and fuck with him. Oh, then we're going to force him into a fight. Then we're going to weight drain him. I get it. He ain't going to be worth a shit when I get, when he gets in the ring with me. Why would you want that type of fight? Why would you want a fighter that handicapped? But anyway, that's me wrapping this up. You guys tell me what you think about uh, Kovalev's statements. Do you think he had a fair shake, a fair chance to win after all this? You guys tell me. Of course, please subscribe. And you all been counterpunched. Peace.